The Amityville Horror, the second highest grossing film in 1979, was based on actual events. Ronald DeFeo did kill his family in the house at 112 Ocean Avenue, and the strange happenings that drove the Lutz family to flee were essentially fabricated a hoax. Around 3.15 a.m. on November 13, 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. murdered six of his family members at his home on 112, Ocean Road in Amityville, New York. After the killings, DeFeo went to a bar and told people that his family had been murdered, claiming they were victims of a mob hit carried out by Louis Fellini. DeFeo's initial story didn't stick. The details he provided were inconsistent, changing as police uncovered new evidence. Furthermore, Fellini was later able to prove that he was out of the state at the time of the murders. The next day, DeFeo confessed and mounted an insanity defense, claiming that he heard the voices of his family members plotting against him. The prosecution asserted that DeFeo had an antisocial personality disorder and despite his use of LSD and heroin, he was aware of his actions at the time. He was found guilty and sentenced to six consecutive sentences of 12 years to life for the murders of his parents and four siblings. In December 1975, a year after the murders, George and Kathy Lutz bought the house at a bargain price and moved in with their three children and their dog. They also bought the furniture as part of the deal. They learned about the murders before buying the house, and one of George's friends insisted they have the house blessed. They resided there for 28 days, asserting that supernatural events forced them to leave. They experienced swarms of flies in winter, discovered a secret red room, had visions of a demon, heard unexplained noises, smelled unexplained odors, and Kathy was attacked by an unseen force. In January 1976, 28 days after moving in, the Lutzes fled after a terrifying night. An editor for Prentice Hall introduced Jay Anson to the Lutzes, who gave him 45 hours of recorded information to provide the basis for the book which would later be turned into the movie. Many of the details of the Lutz's claims have been discounted. They claim that the locks, doors, and windows had been damaged, but the subsequent owners of the house stated that there was no evidence of damage. The Lutzes had claimed that they saw cloven hooves in the snow, but there was not any snow on the ground during the time and the secret red room was simply a basement closet. No later occupants reported any evidence of a haunting in the house. They reportedly passed a polygraph test and some still stand by their claims, saying they appear genuinely scared. Others think they made up the stories for money from the media. William Weber, DeFeo's lawyer, came up with the story in an attempt to get a new trial for his client. The Lutz's son, Daniel, has accused his stepfather, George, of abuse and claimed that he was involved in Satanism. The story of the murders is not as certain as originally assumed. New evidence, including handwritten notes, eyewitness reports, and a second gun, points to the notion that DeFeo may not have acted alone, a second shooter may have helped him carry out the crime. The bodies of DeFeo's family were all found face down, in their beds. Ronald DeFeo didn't use a silencer. It's strange, even unlikely, that Ronald could walk through the house at 3.15 a.m., killing relative after relative, without waking any of them up. 
Further complicating things is the fact that none of the DeFeo's neighbors recall hearing gunfire, so what really happened? The ghost boy or demonic boy photograph is another mysterious part of the story. It was taken by paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren and shows a hallway and staircase with what appears to be a dark-faced, bright-eyed child peering out from a dark room. The photograph, taken shortly after the Lutzes left the house, is unsettling and has not been debunked. Even with the technology available at the time, the photo could have been faked. Regardless of the haunting, the murders of DeFeo's family were real and horrifying.